Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make some fast nine patches from Fat Quarters. Now a nine patch is a block with obviously nine patches in it. So I've just chosen to do a two colour one which is a very traditional way although the fabrics are nice and bright and cheerful. And so I'm going to start with some Fat Quarters and I'll just show you how I cut. We're going to cut strips from our Fat Quarters. So I've got two Fat Quarters here, my green one, and so what I've got here is the selvage is along the edge here and I'm just going to fold that over towards the selvage. Now a fat quarter is about 18 inches this way by half the width of the fabric so somewhere around 21 or 22 inches wide. And I'm going to lay this on my board. Now I've got my edges nice and straight and I'm lining it up straight with the markings on the board. And I've got my other fat quarter, same thing. I've got the selvage along this edge towards me and I folded the other cut edge over to meet it and I'm just going to lay that on top and I'm going to make it so that it sits nice and straight you can line it up if you like I'll just leave it like that so you can see it now I'm just going to slice up some um, strips for this block that we're making these, this is a six and a half inch measured block so it'll finish at six inches and so these, each piece is, has to be cut at two and a half inches. So we're going to cut some two and a half inch wide strips. And I'll use the markings on the board to help me with that. So initially I'm just going to trim it off so that I've got a nice even edge to start with. Oops. Need to cut through everything. And now I'm going to move along two and a half inches according to the markings on my board and lining it up with my ruler as well. And I'm going to cut that. Now to make a nine patch you obviously need more of the stronger colour that I've got here than you do of these other colours. And so we, we will need to cut five strips of the, well, the green because I'm using green and four strips only of the white. So we'll just keep going along here doing our slicing. So we've done one slice there, two slices, three slices, four slices. Now we only need four of the white so we can take that one off now and cut one more of the green so that we've got the right amount to make some nine patches. Now you can actually get nine, sorry, eight nine patches out of this amount of fabric. So you have got some left and you could get some more out of that. But for ease of showing you today, we're just going to work with these strips that I've got here. Um, so what you have to do now is join up your strips with the sewing machine. You want to have a row of, of three. You want a green, a white and a green. So you want to do the green, the white and the green. And they just need to be sewn together just with a regular quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then you want to press your seams in towards your stronger colour, so in towards the green. Now, you all know how to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance, so I'm not actually going to do that in front of you because that would become quite tedious. I have already prepared some strips ahead. So these are my strips already joined up. I've got one lot of green, white, green. One lot of white, green, white and another lot of green, white, green so that you can get a bit of an idea here that you're going to have this sort of nine patch forming using those strips. So now I'm going to lay these on my board. They're all nicely sewn, they're pressed with the, the seams going towards the, uh, the, the green each time and I'm just going to lay these one on top of the other but offset so that the seams are not sitting on top of each other. And then I'm going to slice them into two and a half inch slices. So just extend, if you've got your selvage there, extend it along beyond the marking on the board. Make sure that everything else is sitting nice and straight. And just slice off that selvage on the end so that you've got a nice edge to work with there. And now I'm going to cut a two and a half inch slice. And there's enough there to make a whole block. 
we've just got to join those up. But I can get more blocks than that out of it, so I'm just going to continue on slicing up while I'm here so that I don't have to keep resetting the fabrics all the time. So that's two slices, three slices, four slices, five slices, six slices, seven slices, and that's eight. You can get eight slices out of the out of that amount of fabric, which means that you're going to get eight blocks out of that, of these nine patches. So I'll we'll just um, sew one together so that you can see, in fact I might do a couple so that you can see how you can chain piece them through. So I'm going to take one of the two greens and the white and one with two whites and the green and I'm going to sew them together. Now because you've pressed your seams towards the green each time, when you come to put them together like this, you can just slide that along and that seam will butt together and you can feel it when it gets there. Now you could pop a pin in if you want to. I'm not good with pins so I'm not using pins. I can actually hold that as I'm sewing it. So I just put my quarter inch seam now. I'm just going to sew through there. And I'll get the next seam ready as that approaches that one. And you can just feel when it's sitting nice and flush together. I'm going to do a second block so I'll take up the next piece. Same thing again, but that seam together and just feed it straight in after the other one. And make sure these seams. This also covers any little tiny anomalies. If you just let the fabric feed through you'll find that things can just move around a little bit but this if you can get your seams to butt like this you'll have some nice points at where those um, seams cross. Okay so we'll just do the two blocks. I'm going to snip those apart and then come back and put the other piece on. So now I want to make sure I put it in the right place. I need to put it on that side. So the same thing again, butt your seams together and so I'll just pop the next one through quickly and make sure you get the right seams together. You don't want to go joining the green to the green. You can, of course, just cut up two and a half inch squares to make nine patches. But this is a fairly fast way of getting a few done when you're using the same fabrics like this. Right, so I'm just going to press those now. And I can just lay these down and press the seams one way. It doesn't really matter which way they go at this stage. So I'm just going to lay it down and holding that up that'll just press that seam over and I can just keep on going and press the seam down that way. And we'll just do the other one as well. And there we've got it. So that's how you can just make some nine patches from fat quarters fairly quickly. Uh, as you saw, there are some leftover bits of fabric, which of course you could make some more out of, or you might use them for something else if this is enough for you. Um, nine patches are often used as an alternate block, or you might pop something in between them, you might sash them. There's lots of things you can do with nine patches. They're so much fun to use. Um, so I thought that would be a really good way of just showing you how to cut your fat quarters ready to set up for your nine patches. Thank you.